Hey, what's up you little freaks? How's it going? Also, that was a really nice clap. So today I'm gonna show you how to do the alt, as they call it, makeup. And it's a trend that's been going around. I'm pretty sure if you clicked on this video, you know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna do a tutorial for the entire face from eyebrows to eyeliner to lips. Let's get it started. So the beginning always for any alt makeup is the eyebrows. So you want to start by gluing them down. It's the little fleeked up eyebrow. If you don't want to shave the ends, this magic glue stick will be your friend. I'm gonna be using this washable glue stick. Make sure it's washable, otherwise it's gonna be a nightmare to take out of your eyebrows. So that's why everyone uses these purple ones. Um, there's multiple ways to do this. You can either glue the entire eyebrow down and then draw it on top, but that's just too much work. The easiest thing to do is to just glue down the ends. And my eyebrows, as you can see, are super thin. So the way I'm gonna be doing it is a little different. So the way a lot of people do it is that they're gonna take a spoolie or a brush and they're gonna brush the hairs up and then glue them down with a glue. If you have thick eyebrows, then you should do it that way. But since my eyebrows are super thin, I can just glue them down so i'm only gluing the ends down onto my face i have no makeup on you cannot do this on top of foundation because then the glue is going to stick to foundation and till the powder and it's going to get like clumpy so you want to do this on your bare face and then do the foundation and everything else afterward and i'm going to keep going over that same area as many times as it takes as many times as it takes where's my coffee clearly i have not enough energy right now So if you guys are on the budget and you don't have the money to spend on expensive products, I feel you, I am the same. So the foundation that I'm going to be using is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. It's like $10 for a bottle and it lasts a while. Now I'm going to use this concealer from Maybelline. It's the Fit Me one. That series is pretty good. I haven't tried their foundation, but their concealer is pretty nice. It's not super cakey and it does its job. So we're gonna cover our, 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 our eyebrows. And now, just using my foundation and a beauty blender, I am applying that foundation all over my skin. Look at that. So nice. All right, time for powder. And I am using another drugstore powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. I'm using the color 110. It's like the lightest one they have. Almost forgot, before I do the powder, I'm gonna do some concealer under my eyes. I don't really do this a lot which i probably should i don't really like to do the triangle i like to just get into the corner right here and a little bit out this way do these powder see shine no more shine <gasps> so shiny oh no not anymore and yeah i just keep reapplying powder as it needed I'm not pressing down on my skin too much because I don't want to move the foundation around. I'm going to set the foundation into my skin. And I'm doing this everywhere. So now it's time for the eyebrows. And I am using the Morphe eyebrow gel. It's super cheap. I think it's like 4 or $6. Super affordable and super nice. My friend uses the Anastasia one. That one's like $20. Same thing, but cheaper. But yeah, I'm just gonna follow that same line of the eyebrow. So I am starting with the bottom and I'm gonna keep bringing this upwards. So instead of having that arc going down, I'm gonna keep that straight line going up. So what I'm doing right now is I'm taking that same eyebrow brush and I'm doing the top of the eyebrows again, following that same line for now. So starting off at the base, moving upwards. And then when I finish, like where's that arc supposed to be? When my eyebrow curves down naturally, I'm gonna start curving it down a little bit to go towards this original line that we created. I'm gonna just fill it in. Now using a flat brush and my foundation, I am cleaning up the eyebrow both on top and on the bottom to make it nice and straight. You know, we wanna look mad. And that's how you do the eyebrows. So I already did an eyeliner tutorial and an eyeshadow tutorial on my TikTok. 
but today we're gonna do the crazy alternative eyeliner that is super popular usually they have it blended out onto different colors or you can just have it blended out into your skin whichever one you want let's not make it too hard for ourselves let's just do a classic one so i'm gonna take an eyeliner and start drawing it the same way i usually do i always start by doing a thin line on top of my eye you have this line over here it's called the water line or whatever it's called and i'm following that same curve going up with the eyeliner and we want to make it big big eyeliner and now keeping my eye open i'm connecting that wing to the rest of the eye and when i you know close my eye it forms a little bat wing so i just want to connect it down to the original line and fill in the rest and then I just kept making that eyeliner bigger until I had my desired size. So now instead of bringing it down, I'm gonna start making little lines going this way. And this can be as short or as big as you want. You can literally do it like start blending it here. You can start blending it right at the wing. I like to do it like almost halfway through my eye like that. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take an eyeliner pencil. This step is optional, but it makes blending a lot easier because if you don't use an eyeliner pencil, the little lines from the eyeliner will still be visible. You're gonna take that pencil and go over all those lines and blend it again. And here, you don't want it to be a straight line down. Once again, you want it to be a little, not messy, but blended as we like to call it. Now here, you can either use a black eyeshadow or a dark brown eyeshadow. So um, I prefer to use the dark brown eyeshadow just because it makes the look more natural instead of just using black because black fades into gray, but brown fades into your skin tone. See what I'm talking about? I'm just gonna go in with that brown, this one right here. And I'm using this brown to blend it out even more keeping that straight line on top. We don't want to blend out the top because we're edgy. <laughs> no one's here to laugh at my joke with me. <laughs> and now using a lighter brown, I am blending that darker brown even more into my eye. And now using black eyeshadow, I'm going over that wing to make it even darker. Now you could have done the same, the same thing instead of brown. You could have used like red or green or whatever color you wanted. I'm gonna I'm gonna take I just dropped it like three times I'm gonna take some glittery glittery <laughs> can't say it glitter glitter eyeshadow so I'm gonna go with this one I'm gonna just apply it in the corner right here I'm gonna take that eyeliner I'm gonna extend the inner corner down taking it down again following that same curve going down like that, but make it a straight line. Clearly, I don't know how to draw straight lines. And connect it to the rest of the eye. So we wanna blend out the lower lash line. Never leave your lower lash line blank. It just looks sad. Always put some eyeshadow on the lower lash line. So I'm going in with the same dark brown eyeshadow. You can use black, but I'm just feeling brown for now. Like that, like. Look at how much nicer that looks compared to this. Now time for the best part, it's the falsies. I like to grab my eyelash on the edge and not in the middle just because it makes putting it on easier for me because you want to get the inner corner first and then get the rest of it down. So I'm taking that inner corner and I'm going to put it right where my natural eyelashes start growing and that's kind of the big tip for putting on eyelashes. So you want to start with the inner corner pop that boy on and then using your fingers or anything else stick the other edge on and that's it and that's your eyelash and of course no alt look would be complete without some little triangles going down from your eyes it's basically the same thing as drawing an upside down eyeliner three times under your eye and of course, we can't forget about mascara. I use another cheap mascara. This one's from Maybelline and this one is waterproof. It's Lash Sensation. No, I can read. 
So I'm going to apply it to my lashes. It's going to make them blend in with my falsies. And do the same thing on the lower lash line. Never leave your lower lash line alone. It wants to be a part of the action too. And then to complete the eye look, I use some regular black uh, eye pencil and I put that onto my waterline. Oh yes. Now let's move on to the rest of the face. So another staple of the alt look is a pink nose. So I'm gonna use some blush. This blush is Sephora brand. Sephora brand brush. Brand, brand. Blush. It's a tongue twister, huh? I can talk. Dab, dab, dab. It's super pigmented. So I'm gonna tap off the excess, ready? Wow. And now I'm just gonna put it on my nose. It's super pigmented and I like this blush a lot. It's really easy to blend out. So I'm putting it on my nose and I am blending it out all around my nose. And this brush, I think already had highlighter on it. So it's highlighting my nose as I'm putting blush on it. So that is the pink nose. And I'm applying a little bit of that blush to my cheeks as well. Wow. <laughs> and now it is time for some contour. And I'm gonna go under my jawline. We wanna look sharp, we wanna look like we're gonna, you know, attack some people. We're not actually gonna attack anyone, we're just gonna look like it. And of course, how can we forget about some contour on our cheekbones? I am blending it out in a circular motion and making sure it is nice and dark. Like our soul, you know. And of course, we're gonna add some freckles. I'm using a nice thin brush and the same eyebrow gel from Morphe. Do one dot. Wow. Do more dots. Let's look at that. They're all different sizes. And that's, that's good. You want that. Now, you can do as little or as many freckles as you want. I'm not gonna do too many today something like this maybe. So I take my finger and I'm gonna dab it. I'm not smearing it, I'm dabbing it. And what this does is that our finger is gonna pick up the little product on our face from the freckles that are already there and it's gonna transfer them to different parts of the skin. And it's gonna make them fade more and it's gonna make them look more natural-ish. And now it is time for the lips. And for the lips, you need two colors. Any two shades will work. I've done this with like pink and black. I've done this with blue and like a darker blue. And we're gonna draw our lips on. So the first thing we're gonna do is fill in the nude color. So the lighter color you wanna put on first. So we're gonna do all over our lips the way you normally do your lipstick. And the shade of lipstick I'm using is called Kiss by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I hope I said that right. So the thing that we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our brush and we're gonna scrape it on the edge of this lipstick to get the color onto it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the bridge of the lips, connect these edges right here. Now I'm gonna take my darker shade of lipstick. I'm using this purple one, Vampira by Kat Von D, and I'm gonna get that lipstick onto my brush. And now we're just gonna outline the lips. We don't wanna bring it in just yet so just drawing the outline do the same thing for the top and for the little triangle at the top all right and now all we gotta do is blend that out and we're basically done i blended out all the edges to make them less sharp and once again you can make the outer edge as dark as you want and that's basically it now i'm just gonna do you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna brush my hair and that's it that's the alt trend makeup thank you guys so much for watching i had a lot of fun making this you can feel free to like comment subscribe whatever let me know if you want to see any other tutorials or anything else and have an amazing day y'all